It's time for Financial Freedom Friday with Matt Terrio. Let me ask you a question. Would you rather receive a 2% return on your investment or a 9% return? It's kind of a trick question because, I mean, who wouldn't take the 9%, right? Well, a lot of people actually. Sadly, most people day in and day out choose the 2% return. And here's what I mean. Let me tell you one of my favorite stories about upgrading your existing assets. The story is about a past client. Her name is Pam. She's a registered nurse and a single mother of two girls. And and over the years, Pam's family had invested in low-risk bonds that averaged a 2% annual return, which is quite a bit better than a savings account these days, for sure, but still not great. Pam unaware of other investment avenues and hesitant about the stock market, continued with the family investing strategy and purchased quite a few bonds of her own over the years. Now, a few years back, she inherited a chunk of her father's portfolio. And right around the same time, she had heard people at work talking about making much better returns with real estate, a low risk, high yield return, in fact. Now, this real estate conversation had piqued her interest because Pam had watched her parents work all their lives and they struggled to survive until the very end. She envisioned a different future for herself and knew that a 2% return just wasn't going to produce the financial freedom she wanted for her two daughters. So Pam, a smart woman, educated herself about investing in real estate. She read a few books, attended some workshops, and was actually a faithful listener of this show. She ultimately decided that as much as she wanted to invest in real estate, She didn't have the time, so she contacted my team at Cashflow Savvy and found a few properties that she liked, cashed in some of those bonds, and purchased three income properties. Now, six months later, her investment portfolio overall is up from that 2% and is averaging a 9.5% return via a steady monthly cash flow from her three properties. With a little bit of education and the ability to leverage an experienced team to get the job done, she sees herself reaching the level of financial freedom her parents wanted so desperately but were never able to attain. I know there are a lot of you out there who have low yielding assets that aren't doing for your future what real estate could. You're choosing the 2% over the 9% and probably don't even realize it. Take stock of your assets. They're your assets. It's not only in your best interest, but it's your responsibility to know how they are performing. Are they working as hard for you as they could be? If not, when would now be a good time to change that? I'm Matt Terrio of Epic Real Estate, and I'll see you next week on another episode of Financial Freedom Friday.